Act One, Introduction. This here is the tale of Sonny Mac, a lone writer whose mellifluous song could make an entire saloon hoot and holler, only then to soften the hardest of hearts and bring a tear to your eye. A skill which earned him the name, the South Strathcona Songsmith. Now as good of a name as that was, and it was a good name, this here story ain't how he earned that particular name, no. This thread I'm about to weave is about how he acquired his next most notorious handle, Borjo. Act two, love. With his throat parched from the trail dust, and his lonesome heart filled with pain, Sonny sang his soul bare and then turned to the bottle to wash it all away. This was how Sonny lived his life day after day, night after night, until one fateful meeting. Somewhere along the lines, a lost stagecoach came to town to restock on supplies. It was on this coach that brought a beautiful woman, one that immediately caught the eye of our solitary cowboy. He pined after her and sought to win her love. He sang her the most beautiful melodies, tunes so pretty even the sweet sounds of the whippoorwill couldn't even compare. A courtship bloomed. Act Three. Loss. A courtship bloomed, but alas, it wasn't to last for long. A bandit gang led by the notorious Knight Rider raided the small town and a bloody skirmish ensued. It was a tough fight, but Sonny, along with the local sheriff, managed to hold the bandits off, not without sacrifice, though. As the gang was on the run, the woman that Sonny had so come to love was shot dead by Knight Rider himself as he escaped town. It was a bittersweet victory, because in this town, he saw his late love everywhere. The curve of her body in the wood grain of the bar the scent of her perfume from the town's bloom and flowers, or the warmth of her smile from the sun's rays. Racked with grief, the call of the bottle with the sweet taste of the devil's water was the only thing that could soothe his wounded heart. Act Four, Revenge. Weeks passed by and Sonny was back to being blind, drunk, and alone again. It was then that rumors circled about the Knight Rider and his bandit clan resurfacing. Whispers of cattle rustling and rum running based out of a camp they'd set up not six days right away. With his mind set on revenge and a belly full of booze, Sonny set out alone to confront the rider. Now what happened next, no one knows for sure. But legend has it that Sonny ambushed the gang on horseback with a big iron in one hand and a bottle of whiskey in the other. Some say he took more shots of whiskey than shots fired from his gun. The next day, the sheriff along with the cavalry set off to assist with the fight. When they arrived, they found only Sonny Mac, surrounded by dead bandits and empty whiskey bottles. Act Five, Leaving. With the Knight Rider eliminated, Sonny cut off all ties, packed up his things, and left for the next town in search of a new saloon to call his home. That's why he's earned the name Borchon.